No. Maybe we should just get our snacks at 7-Eleven. It's what we always do. What? There are many places we can get hold of a tasty snack, but did you know that your local 7-Eleven has some of the best tasting foods out there? They've got it all. Freshly made pizza, coffee, Slurpees, an impressive hot dog, and so much more. Here are 10 7-Eleven facts that will tempt you to their stores. The Simpsons and 7-Eleven. What happens when one of the world's largest convenience stores teams up with one of the world's most popular TV shows? You get a pop culture explosion. That sounded like an explosion at the old Simpson place. Which is exactly what happened when 7-Eleven promoted the release of The Simpsons movie. In case you didn't know, in The Simpsons, they have their own version of 7-Eleven known as the Quickie Mart. That store is run by Apu and his family and has been proudly serving snacks to the people of Springfield since the show began. Thank y'all, come again. When the Simpsons movie was released, 7-Eleven decided to turn some of their stores into real-life quickie marts to honor the occasion. This not only included changing the exterior of the buildings and the signs to match the Springfield store, but it also included selling some of their famous products. crusty -O cereal, Radioactive Man comics, Buzz Cola, and even Squishies, which is their version of the Slurpee. Unfortunately, as the movie was PG-13, Homer's favorite Duff beer couldn't be sold, but fans did get a chance to buy Duff energy drinks instead. While not all of the 7-Eleven locations were transformed into Quickie Marts, most of them at least sold Simpsons-based items, such as a Woohoo Blue Vanilla Slurpee, Homer's favorite. Wraps and sandwiches at 7-Eleven Truck stops and corner stores might not be known for having the best range of snack meals out on the market, which we can understand. However, there is one location that does have a great range of snack foods and sandwiches, and that's 7-Eleven. Their sandwiches are handmade and delivered daily to the stores fresh, and 7-Eleven offers you a great choice in varieties and flavors. These include traditional wedge sandwiches, subs, and burritos. I don't much go for ethnic food. Now, while the ingredients might differ a little bit depending on your location, you can probably expect the usual cheese, romaine lettuce, tomatoes, and occasionally some meats that can range from roast beef, ham, and even tuna. These are generally great for anyone who needs to grab something quick and simple since they come ready to eat. What more could you want from a snack food? What more do you want? It's fresh, somewhat healthy, and more importantly, it is affordable, and it will also fill your belly nicely, or at least long enough to survive until the next meal. 7-Eleven prides itself on selling great-tasting snacks, all of which are designed to make the customer come back for more. And as if that wasn't good enough, 7-Eleven actually goes one step further, as they try to source as many ingredients from local suppliers as possible. Another great reason to start using your local 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven's Pizza and Chicken I'm having a relationship with my pizza. Wings and pizza are both very popular items the world over. However, if you want people to come back, then they need to taste great. 7-Eleven yet again managed to figure this out and created some great tasting options in this area. While it always seems as if there are a ton of choices when it comes to wings, 7-Eleven likes to keep it simple and to the point by allowing the customer to buy one version of chicken. This is actually a good thing since too much choice can be overwhelming, as well as there being more opportunities for the place to get it wrong. As well as that, 7-Eleven also takes their chicken sourcing seriously. We use mainly bats. What? Yeah, but the, the good quality kind as they only use chicken that is raised with no added hormones or steroids, which is something that many consumers are wary of today. Pizza is probably one of the most popular foods out on the market. You can find it pretty much everywhere. Once again, there are tons of versions, but you can expect three from this corner store. Those are cheese, pepperoni, and extreme meat. You are going to get it fresh, too, as their pizzas come out of the oven in three minutes, no matter what time of day it might be. 
Whatever reasons you have for wanting to indulge in chicken or pizza, 7-Eleven has you covered. The 7-Eleven Bakery. Imagine wanting a freshly baked muffin, or perhaps an apple pie, but not wanting to wait in line for ages. Well, 7-Eleven provides yet another service that can come in handy for anyone that loves baked goods. The store has pretty much everything that someone who is in the mood for a baked good might want. That's... Pretty fantastic! These include some popular items like cookies, croissants, and, of course, their infamous donuts. However, they also carry some great muffins. Do you know the Muffin Man? In fact, one of them, known as Morning Glory, is packed with coconut, carrot, apple, raisins, and walnuts. Alongside those benefits, 7-Eleven is known for having many fresh items on their menu list. In short, they make sure to bake every item fresh no matter the time of day. What this means is that you're highly unlikely to get something that's considered old or rather unservable due to it sitting on the counter for days at a time. You can easily hit up 7-Eleven to satisfy your sweet carb cravings with fresh offerings day or night. Their ever popular hot dogs. Made out with a hot dog. Oh my god, that was one time! Is there anything more classic and satisfying than a good hot dog? 7-Eleven certainly doesn't think so. Hot dogs are, after all, the perfect grab-and-go food. 7-Eleven takes it up a notch with all the free toppings your heart could desire. This includes the usual suspects like ketchup, mustard, relish, and onions, but also favorites like cheese sauce, chili, pico de gallo, and jalapenos. With such a wide variety of free toppings to pile on to their delicious dogs, it's no wonder the hot dog is one of 7-Eleven's best sellers. They run a yearly promotion where, on National Hot Dog Day, 7-Eleven sells their hot dogs for only one dollar. Damn good deal. For this promotion, they sometimes also release limited edition hot dogs. One of the more memorable limited edition releases was the Reaper Dog. This bright red hot dog is laced with a very potent Carolina Reaper Pepper seasoning blend. For those unfamiliar with the Carolina Reaper, the pepper is said to be the world's hottest chili pepper. 7-Eleven called this one seriously spicy dog, adding that you may want to pick up some milk to go along with your Reaper Dog. Unfortunately for lovers of all things spicy, you can't get your hands on this one anymore. But keep your eyes peeled each year around National Hot Dog Day. Who knows what 7-Eleven will come up with next. Those classic 7-Eleven Slurpees. Slurpees are tasty. There is no getting away from that fact. Whether you are young or old, anyone can enjoy a Slurpee. And we do. If you'll excuse me, I got to get my Slurpee on. 7-Eleven is known for having some of the best Slurpees out on the market. This is not only because they are backed by a large brand, but also due to the quality and simplicity that goes into producing them. Most people can make a Slurpee, but to make a truly great Slurpee, there needs to be a perfect understanding of how to balance ingredients and flavors. 7-Eleven knows this better than most, and their version contains all the standard stuff, but comes with several several different types of flavors. In fact, some of them are actually quite unique. A delicious chutney squishy. There are over 30 flavors that 7-Eleven sells. These include crush orange, grape, and even cream soda flavors, as well as the more mainstream Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Mountain Dew, and Dr. Pepper flavors. So it's clear that you're going to be getting a wide variety of options in what you can slap in your Slurpee. There's even the mild possibility of mixing flavors, if that's your kind of thing. Either way, a 7-Eleven Slurpee is as good as it gets when it comes to a refreshing and great taste tasting drink. You can thank football for 7-Eleven's opening hours. I love footballs. It may be hard to imagine now, but there was a time in which 7-Eleven kept regular opening hours. As the name implies, these hours were from 7 in the morning until 11 at night, seven days a week. These hours were extremely convenient for most people. After all, customers didn't usually need to buy anything in the small hours of the morning, right? That is, until the 1960s when everything changed. When a University of Texas football game went long, the local 7-Eleven decided to stay open a little later in order to catch the post-game trade. This proved to be very lucrative and inspired for that particular 7-Eleven, so much so that it would then regularly stay open later on weekends. Soon, that store started to open more and 
and more, until it became the first store to open for a full 24 hours. Other stores followed suit, and by the mid-1970s, two-thirds of 7-Eleven stores were open for 24 hours a day. The door's always open, so to speak. Now, of course, most of them are open 24 hours, but that very first one in Texas started it all. And it was all thanks to football. It has been reported that a quarter of the U.S. population lives within a mile of a 7-Eleven. This has proved to be even more exciting for 7-Eleven fans, as the U.S. government has made it possible for people to pay their taxes at the convenience store. It may be cash only, but it still saves a lot of us so much trouble. 7-Eleven truly is the most convenient of all stores. Every store is different. In the U.S., we see 7-Elevens as more of a great place to grab a cup of coffee or a Slurpee while we are out running errands or dealing with daily life. However, around the world, 7-Elevens look very different. Depending on the culture or the need from the local population, worldwide 7-Elevens serve up a whole host of different niches. In Japan, many 7-Eleven locations are basically treated like grocery stores. It's the largest and most popular convenience store chain there by far. The fresh foods are what really set them apart with items like bento sets, onigiri, sandos, and all the instant noodles your heart could desire. Heck, they recently announced you can even stop in to get life insurance. Seriously. Do you have life insurance? Because if you do, you could always use a little more. Japan isn't the only place that take their 7-Eleven seriously, though. Over in Taiwan, 7-Eleven is also extremely popular, even more so than the likes of Starbucks. The Taiwanese 7-Eleven is truly a convenience store, as you can not only buy tasty snacks, but you can also pay bills, book vacations, and even buy appliances and electronics. How convenient! While our local 7-Elevens have so many services on offer already, we can't help but want to visit all the location types 7-Eleven has to offer. It's been around for nearly 100 years. 7-Eleven is one of those concepts that has really stood the test of time. Starting as a simple idea back in the 1920s, an employee of the Southland Ice Company in Dallas wanted to help people get their weekly necessities, such as milk and bread, more easily than having to travel quite a distance to get to the store. The idea of convenience became a big hit. Well, that's convenient. With the realization that more people across the country would like this new idea for grocery shopping, stores started to open up across Texas, and it wasn't long before the concept really took hold of the country. What was founded on a very simple idea, to have convenient food sold at low prices, has continued to be 7-Eleven's motto. It's, it's so simple, it's brilliant! <laughs> and has helped shape them into the global phenomenon they have become. One of the largest convenience store chains. Currently, there are nearly 70,000 7-Eleven stores in a whopping 17 countries. Are we just gonna wait until until they've taken over the world? With around 10,000 of those in North America, the numbers for 7-Eleven stores seem to be climbing, as it is reported that a store is added to the franchise every three and a half hours. Being one of the world's largest convenience stores doesn't just happen by accident. It has to be a hard-fought goal of the company. And that seems to have been the case. Some of the main principles that 7-Eleven seems to have in its approach to world domination are their customer service and the quality of their items. The other reason for 7-Eleven's vast network of convenience stores is down to franchising. What this means is that not every store is controlled by the corporate office. Each store is licensed using the 7-Eleven name and brand, but it is run by the individual. While the corporation still does have a say in the overall running of the company, the day-to-day -day running of each store is left to the person who franchised it. While franchising is not a new or uncommon idea, especially in the fast food world in which most chains are franchised, it has still helped 7-Eleven become the global company it is today. And that doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon. Anyway, you'll never stop me! We've got a lot more refreshing videos for you to check out. Just tap that screen. And if you never want to miss out, click on that subscribe button and hit that bell to join our notification squad.